operative of the Department of State Services, DSS, yesterday released Channel's television anchors Chamberlain, Oso, and Kayode, Okiki, Olu, after quizzing them over an interview they had with Benway State Governor, Dr. Samuel Otom, on Thursday. The duo were invited for questioning following a petition submitted to the service by the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC. All just Nigeria gathered that the that the no holds barred interview they had with a retired Navy Commander Kunle Olawumi also elicited complaints by the NBC, given the weight of Olawumi's allegations. The intelligence officer had claimed that the President Buhari's government appeared to lack the political will to fight insurgency, adding Boko Haram suspect once named some people as sponsors that some of the sponsors they named have become governors lawmakers and some serving in government it was a live interview it was learned that the journalists were asked to pledge in writing never to allow a repeat of such broadcast a demand they dismiss insisting that they were just doing their job professionally they further stated that as employees of an independent television station they were not bound to make such commitments on behalf of channels television it will be recalled that Governor Otom had earlier in the week, as guest on Sunrise Daily stated, among other things, that Mr. President is pushing me to think that what they say about him, that he has a hidden agenda in this country, is true, because it is very clear that he wants to fool a nice, but he is not the first fool any president. The presidency swiftly reacted, labeled Otom as a man of few political principles. Also, the People's Democratic Party, PDP caucus and the House of Representatives has asked the government of President Muhammad Buhari to stop harassing channels, television or any other print or electronic media platform in Nigeria. The caucus said that such harassment violated the provision of Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution, which guarantees freedom of expression and, by extension, press freedom. The caucus demand came on the heels of a recent interview granted to Channels TV by Governor Samuel Otom of Benue which the presidency found offensive, inciting and divisive. It will be recalled that the broadcasting regulator, the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, has since picked holes in the interview saying it went against the broadcasting codes and ethics for which it queried Channels TV. The PDP caucus, in a statement signed by its leader, Honorable Kingsley, Chede yesterday said, The development was unhealthy for democracy in Nigeria. The statement read in full. Our attention has been drawn to the report that the National Broadcasting Commission on August 24, 2021, issued a so called notice of infraction against channels television on the basis of a television interview granted to Benue State Governor o Samuel Otom during the program. Sunrise Daily had on the same day. The said notice is supposedly predict predicated on the Nigeria Broadcasting Code and allergies, amongst other things, that the program contained inciting divisive and unfair comments which were not thoroughly interrogated by the anchors contrary to the broadcasting code. In the said notice, Channel's TV was ordered to respond within 24 hours as to why sanctions should not be meted to it. We are also monitoring widespread report that members of staff of Channel's television have been invited to the office of the Directorate of State Services for interrogation in connection with their handling of the program. We must first register our deep concern that whilst the nation drifts into near Hobezain state amidst the raging insecurity currently engulfing the nation, the daily carnage experienced across Benue and Plato State and elsewhere in the country kidnappings of innocent citizens, including school children, to the unprecedented violent attack on the National Defense Academy, one of the most hallowed symbols of Nigeria's sovereignty. The government of President Muhammad Buhari is preoccupied with hounding perceived enemies of the administration and stifling the press, acts which are 
antithetical to democratic ethos. Certainly, there are more pressing issues demanding statecraft and leadership than the hounding of journalists and repression of the media merely on account of interviews granted by opposition figures.